Do you guys remember Thomas the Tank Engine? Well, I do. When I was a kid, I used to collect Trackmasters, VHS tapes, wooden railway toys, the whole nine yards. And I used to watch it with my, with my little cousins, my sister, my brother, and even my parents. It was on December 13th, almost Christmas. One day at my home, my mom gave me a VHS tape where it features James as an early Christmas present. I was really excited to watch it because James is one of my favorite characters in the show. Besides Thomas, Gordon, Henry, I like James more. I put a tape on, on the VHS player. A Bert Alcroft logo plays. An episode starts normally, but when it reaches to the title card, it said something and glitching. It said from James Happy Day to James Insane Day. I was confused, but concerned at the same time, too. I continued to watch it. It started with the engines at Tidma Sheds. It was an early night, but James wasn't there. Thomas starts to yawn. Where's James? said Thomas. It's probably late again, said Henry. Then the scene cuts to James, pulling a freight train in a grumpy mood. On the botheration! said James crossly. I'm late again, I'm late again. James felt very upset when he arrived at the station, and he saw Sir Topham Hat there, looking very cross. James, why are you late? said Sir Topham Hat. Sir, uh, I was sleeping because I thought I was going to be on time, said James nervously. Sir Topham Hat was furious. I'm sending you to the sheds. You will be punished. Later at morning, it started normally, James becoming furious than ever. I'm tired of being punished. I'm tired of being teased. I'm tired of this Sodor life. I want to quit. That's right. I'll quit for goddamn sakes. I was shocked because no one said a curse word in, in kid shows before. Then I continued to watch it. James was so angry and furious. But then, an, an old man came, but he whacked James and started kidnapping him. It was shocking that I almost got a heart attack from seeing this, but I quickly snapped out of it and carried on watching. James woke up with a blurry vision. Oh, my head. Where am I? Then, he saw an old man, which is his old driver, with stitching tools. Well, well, if it isn't James, said his old driver. Who are you? Why are you here? said James in afraid. Well, I've heard that you are always angry because of Sir Topham Hat. But I'll make you more happy, said his old driver eagerly. James was so scared that he has tied on to his turntable brakes and couldn't move. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, said James in afraid. Your time is up. Now for some surgery. Then his old driver began to stitch James's eyebrows. It was hurting him at first. Stop! Stop! said James fearfully. The blood drips from his under eyebrows and then his his driver stitching his mouth to make it figure he was smiling, very creepy and menacing. And more blood drips from his mouth, under revealing a facial cut and bruises. I almost threw up from seeing this whole thing, but I decided to carry on watching. James suddenly changed. He started to become insane. Something snapped. Yes. My dreams. My dreams. <laughs> yes. Yes. Time to get revenge on that stupid controller. James suddenly he laughed insanely. <laughs> After that, an static occurs, but it shows was James tender with scratches. And then after the static, there was screaming. <laughs> It was James killing Sir Topham Hat. I was shocked, so shocked that I tried to turn off the VHS tape, but none avail. 
And then the last narration said, Four engines were worried about James. But I think that's the next story. And then the end credits comes normally. But it went static after it shows a hit entertainment logo. And after, the last scene shows James with his smile all stitched and his eyebrows were too. And then a message says, It's always your fault. Your fault. And it was written in scribbly words then bloody numbers. I was shocked and scared that I almost got fainted. Then the TV turns off on itself and the tape went out. I was curled up into a ball, all shaky and scared. And I was traumatized from that tape. So much that I couldn't sleep last night at all. The next day, I threw the tape away. But after the tape and all of this, I won't be watching Thomas the Tank Engine in the same way again. That is, until I came to a convention when I was 16. One of the people who worked for Thomas came, and I started to ask some of them questions, saying, I saw a Thomas VHS tape that says James Insane Day. Why would you make that episode in the first place? But they responded, Young man, we never made that episode. 